by Sean Murray of Hello Games, uh, who just had a big announcement as part of our first episode of State of Play. Sean, thanks so much for taking a few minutes here. Yeah, you too. Really good to chat to you. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I alluded to this a moment ago, but virtual reality, PlayStation VR, it's happening. It's finally happening. People have been asking for this. I think since No Man's Sky was announced, people were saying virtual reality when, and there were the naysayers saying it can't be done. Like, it's, it's, it's not possible for a game that big. But, uh, by Jove, you've done it. You've, you've pulled it off here. Um, I guess first things first, um, did you guys ever think you were going to be able to pull this off? We knew it would be challenging for sure, but it's always been a name for us. And like you said, people have always said it. I don't. It's taken me a while actually to figure out why people always think No Man's Sky fits with VR. And I think it's because it's kind of it's such a sci-fi game. It's so futuristic, and I don't know. It it just seems like a natural fit. It felt that way to us for a long time. We didn't know why, you know. And then it's as we've been playing it, we've gone, oh yeah, we know why. It's because we're big sci-fi nerds <laughs> this is really appealing right and and like you see that across the game like we were showing you um you know in a lot of other games maybe some holographic ui comes up right and in some games that can seem like fine but maybe a little bit in congress you know like it doesn't fit very well with us it's sci-fi it feels more natural and actually there's a bunch of things like that that we feel like we're bringing back to the base game and improving the base game, whether it's got VR or not, you know. Um, but yeah, this is an exciting one for us. It's been uh, something we've been wanting to do for a long time. Like, uh, like it's our dessert, right? You know, it's something we've been looking forward to. Perfect. Well, I know a lot of other people are looking forward to it as well, myself included, as a big VR fan and as a big fan of No Man's Sky. I mean, I've loved the game since it launched. I've been checking in on it with all of the incredible updates that you've been hard at work on. Um, I mean, that's been kind of a story in itself is kind of uh, the, the launch where, I mean, there were the folks who kind of wanted more from it, I think. So you guys really went heads down for a while. You kind of uh, uh, disappeared from tw Twitter for a while and you just... You know, started working on this game and adding these huge new updates. Was that uh, were, were these changes something that you had in mind from the get go, or was that more of a reaction to the launch of the game? No, it's interesting. I mean, we were, you know, really happy with the launch in terms of what we put out there. We worked so so hard on that game, right? Um, and we were proud that it did find an audience, and that there was a whole load of people who played that game for a long time when it came out, and have played from day one but we wanted more from the game and we always planned that there would be we always felt like a game that we would just continue to update and a lot of the big updates have had a lot that's been influenced by the community things that we could never have known until we launched that that's what people would want that's about you know i guess 90 percent of what we do is based on feedback right but there's also this really important 10 percent where the game has completely changed in ways that people weren't expecting we've added you know base building and freighters and frigates and mission systems and npc kind of quest trees and things like that that i don't think people were really expecting and we enjoy surprising people with that beyond which is our next big update has a whole bunch of that kind of stuff, right? Like online is a big part of what we're doing. Yeah, actually, can we zero in on that for a moment? Because you talked about Beyond is going to have a massively improved online component. You're making big changes to the online structure in No Man's Sky. Can you elaborate a little bit on what's going to be changing there? Yeah, it's funny. We've, we've learned, uh, you know, this really important lesson, which is we don't talk about things <laughs> before we can just show them and know exactly what they are. No Man's Sky in particular is really important for because people do get excited when they see the game and start to imagine all the possibilities, right? Um, but what we have said is it's going to have some elements that you would recognize from other very kind of heavily online games, right? Um, that we're really excited about, that we've been watching the community. The community hasn't been asking for these features, but we can tell in the way that they're playing. We can tell from the kinds of feedback they give us that these these kind of online elements will really resonate well, right? But you're not turning it into an M MMO. You're not going to start charging a monthly fee for No Man's Sky. Right. That's. It was really important that we say that. We're not, we don't want to split the audience. We're not going to charge subscription. We're not going to have in-app purchases. This is a free update, but it's one that 
changes online quite a bit. It also brings VR, um, which was, I guess the best way to explain it was at the start of the year we had three updates planned out that were going to land kind of across the year. But as we were looking at them, they work so much better together than they did separately. And rather than just kind of sticking to some sort of structure, some sort of marketing plan or something like that, we just thought the best thing for the game is to combine these three things. So two of them we've announced so far, which is VR and online. Um, and then there's another that we've yet to talk about. We'll kind of talk about everything and show people close to launch and kind of show exactly what people are getting. Great. Cool. Thanks for that. Um, so. Uh, you guys, uh, we've talked about a lot of the updates you've been making. The game has uh, been massively improved. Like I said, I mean, I, I thought it was a pretty solid game when it first launched, and I had a great time exploring, but you made some big changes, and the community has reacted really well to that, I think. I follow, you know, the subreddit and everything, too. I'm sure you're in there, and you're trying not to take things too personally. <laughs> and I, I know how it is. I work at PlayStation, but um, how, how is just, like, uh, how has everything been just with the team, like, in terms of morale, since you guys have been coming out with these updates? I I feel like uh, uh, the reaction to No Man's Sky, the overall uh, uh, sentiment around No Man's Sky is a lot more positive now. Right. I think, weirdly, we've landed in a place where we have one of the most positive communities in games. It's strange, whoever thought that we would get there, right? Um, but that's because the community's been on a real journey with us. They've seen that what we do is we listen and we update the game. We don't spend a lot of time talking, actually. Um, but that suits us. I think it suits us to just kind of make games. It's what we're good at, you know. And it's fun to take a game that's got so much potential and just kind of think of all these ideas that you can add to No Man's Sky. When you look at No Man's Sky, it's this huge universe. It's this bucket that you could put anything into and it would kind of, it would work, right? You could, like some of our updates previously, our smaller ones, where you just think, how about submarines? And everyone on the team can't help but get excited, right? And there's very few games where you could just think of pretty much any sci-fi idea and know that it would find a place, know that it would make sense kind of thing. Are there any ideas that came up that somebody pitched and you were like, actually, maybe not, let's go that, that <laughs> far with it? Or I think as people have seen, the game's changed probably the most of any game from release to post-release, yeah. right? Huge features are added. Um, so yeah, we like to paint in broad brush strokes, so it's probably a bad answer. There hasn't been anything that's come up that we've thought, that's a step too far. <laughs> that probably shows that we're a little bit crazy. You know? um, but yeah, that's some of the things that we're doing with Beyond, I never thought we would do as a team. You know, Actually, when Next finished, which was our last big update last year it was really popular but I sat down with the team and I kind of said look that was a great moment and we all felt really good about it but that's probably not going to happen again right we now move into a phase where we have so many new people playing let's just kind of tend to those people right let's see what they want and let's do more regular updates you know smaller updates more often and everyone was fine with that and then a bunch of the team just started making bigger and bigger things. And one group's like, oh, hey, we've got VR working, right? <laughs> and that's looking really cool. And they're taking it much further than we expected. And other groups working on online, and they've taken it much further than we expected. Um, so we're like, oh, I guess we still have these big moments ahead of us. And Beyond feels like it's shaping up to be a really big update. Nice. Yeah, I, I think it really is. Um, I guess I should ask you some more questions about VR since that's what we're actually here showing off today. Um, tell me about just kind of the inception of the VR component here and whether there was a temptation to just do it as a straight port. I mean, you guys have clearly put a lot of work into this VR implementation, redoing whole aspects of the UI and like building out full cockpits for the for the ships and everything. Um, so yeah, is that was that always the plan or did, were, was, were there earlier versions where it was just kind of like a, a quick port job? Yeah, that's a really good question. We've taken it further than we expected, if I'm honest. I think when we started out, we thought that we probably would just port it, you know, do a reasonably straight port. I hope that doesn't sound bad, but that's kind of where we saw it, right? And then we got that up and running and it felt good, you know? It felt more impressive and more compelling to play than we were expecting. 
And then we were like, okay, but this part of the game is annoying, right? So we started working on that. And then this other part of the game is a bit annoying and frustrating to play for what you're playing for a long period of time. So we started to revisit that. And we're at a point now where every UI screen, like every kind of way of interacting in the game, whether it's movement or how you fire your gun or how you bring up menus or inventories, you've probably seen every single one of them's changed, right? Suddenly we've had to revisit pretty much every game mechanic, which is a lot in No Man's Sky. Whether Even a lot, of, a lot of clever stuff like, um, like pulling the trigger and like pulling on things. Right. Yeah. We wanted it to feel, you know, like it was made for VR, right? Hopefully we can get close to that. Hopefully we can have somebody sit down and if they knew nothing about No Man's Sky, they would think it was a game made for VR. That's where I would like to get to. There's, we're not there yet. There's still some stuff that I find annoying or clunky or is a hang up from the original game, but we aren't like we aren't shy about doing that. We aren't stopping ourselves from doing that. Wherever we notice something that doesn't feel quite right, we're trying to get in there and make it feel better, make it suit VR, and also make use of the fact that you've got these when you're playing with Move these three dimensional kind of uh, controllers, you know, which can make things like modeling terrain feel better or make building a base feel better. It also kind of makes the inventory feel better, right? Because you can now use it like a pallet. And inventory has always, our inventory system has always fought a little bit with, with you using a dual analog controller. Like it's fine, but it's just a complicated UI to use with that. Whereas it's really nice to have something that's just a pointer, you know, that makes everything a little bit faster. Like inventory for Novad Sky is a big part of the game. And it's so freeing to have that feel a little bit more intuitive. But then other things you were asking, was it always the plan? I think where it became the plan for us to use this much more, right, was for us to look at the game which is all about exploration and we suddenly realized this seems obvious to everyone outside but not to us <laughs> so we could actually see it that exploration felt better right exploration suddenly felt better in no man's sky in vr and that was a real moment for us because we're like the game is all about exploration so now the game feels better right just the core game experience so that was really exciting and we were like we've got to make this the best we can you know yeah totally agree I, I actually just um, really quickly I wrote up a quick impressions piece having played this and one of the things I said in that was that just sitting in space in my ship is something I love to do I love these uh, these updates that you keep coming out with for no man's sky because it gives me an, ex an excuse to come back to this universe and just chill you know it's a, it's a supremely chill experience and I think that VR takes that to the next level especially we just saw someone do it on that on that screen over there they're playing it they um, that you go into hyper hyper activate your hyperdrive right. and then you have the purple and the pink streaks going past yeah. you you can look to the side of your ship and see just like you're in hyperspace you're doing this thing it's crazy it's it's a sci-fi dream come yeah. true like I, I feel like I, there were um, I seem to remember you talking a lot before the game came out about how this was a game that you wanted to make as someone who grew up loving sci-fi. Does this VR implementation, like, I mean, do you, do you have any opinions about just like VR and how that matches with your younger selves' ideals? Yeah. It's so funny. If 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 I was a kid and I could see me now, right, I would be really happy that I'd end up working in games, right? I would be so excited that. You know, that's something I would have dreamt of, but never thought would actually happen, right? I got my dream job, which is working games. I feel very privileged to do that. But my five-year-old self would lose his mind if he saw us using VR and how games look now and kind of this sci-fi ideal of wandering around an alien planet. Like, that is so exciting, you know, as that, that child is definitely still in me, you know, and is really excited about it. Um, it gets a little bit giddy still about landing on a planet and being able to look around or, you know, finding yourself wandering down into a little cave or something like that. And that's been a brilliant thing for us as the developers is that we've worked on Nomad Sky for years now. And it feels like the first time in a long time I've been able to see the game with fresh eyes. And that sounds a silly thing to say, but like, you know, I'm used to the game and I'm used to everything about it, but actually seeing it with fresh eyes 
we suddenly felt what it must be like for other people to play the game, right? For the first time, we'll pick it up. It's actually made us make a whole bunch of changes, streamlining things, getting rid of things that we found annoying. But that only came from us being able to see it with these fresh eyes, right? But anything, once you're in VR, anything that gets in the way of you exploring feels kind of annoying. And so we wanted to help remove some of those barriers. Yeah, for sure. Uh, awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking time here. Um, when when does No Man's Sky Beyond launch? Uh, the plan at the moment is for summer 2019, so this summer, basically. Yeah. Great, cool. Uh, anything else you want to say to the PlayStation fans out there before we let you go? No, we're just super happy for their support. It was amazing when we announced to see the reaction, right? We weren't sure whether people would feel that way, whether they would be as excited about VR as we are. You know, and I expected when we announced that people would maybe say, oh, I don't have a headset or whatever. It's not for me or something like that. But I think people seem to be just really welcoming of it, of the changes it would bring for the base game and also just the opportunity for people to go and explore this game with fresh eyes, the same as us. Awesome. Sean, thanks so much for taking the time. Cool.